so this article came out yesterday uh, on the 18th and this is a sort of stupid stuff that i have no doubt you're going to see more of this especially if countries basically go full dictator or you have huge amounts of uh, joblessness which is going to happen where there are fewer jobs for the amount of people that are going to be looking for work and so this allows for employ employers to basically police their their workers all the more as you can see by the title it says french factory workers could be forced to wear social distancing devices that emit a loud noise like a dog collar if they stand too close to each other it says the badge we would be worn around the neck or around the waist and would go off if two meter distance is not observed it says a hygiene company says it could help contact tracing with its factory workers but a french union condemned the dog collars as an attack on individual liberty and this is basically what happens when you give up your personal liberties for alleged safety you end up with of course stuff like this it says plans for the factory workers to wear social distancing dog collars that go off like an alarm if people stand too close to each other have caused an outcry in france it says worn around the neck or tied around the waist the badges would make a loud 85 decibel sound and possibly vibrate or light up if the two meter distance is not observed it says this is brought to you by a uh, Swedish company with around 2,500 employees in France. It said uh, to be planning to introduce these gadgets, which it claims would assist, of course, in contact tracing if there was an outbreak at the plant. And of course, I've done numerous, numerous videos, you can look them up, that talk in detail about the numerous uh, false positives with the PCR swabs and with the rapid test. The rapid test is very faulty. I will link with I'll link a video, I guess, at the top or in the description. And of course, all of these videos that I've done have been a, have been fully detailed with either news articles from government agencies that basically state that there is a, a large number of faulty uh, PCRs. And so to actually go about doing stuff like this is foolish when basically the test that is responsible for catching the catching the disease is faulty to begin with the fda talked about this the cdc talked about this the cdc was one of the biggest culprits here uh, in america that early within the beginning of the pandemic released a kit that was that was wholly faulty they knew it was faulty and yet they still released it um, to the public to use and of course it backfired horribly in in, in america it says, but on the French Union, it says they condemned, of course, the attack on individual liberties uh, with, with infanticide. Oh my God, I don't even know how to say that word. The factory's worker. Oh, it must be French. Infantilisis, the factory workers. Uh, forgive, I have no idea how to, how to pronounce that. It said that the tags um, won't improve contact tracing because they do not track wearers' locations and all data is anonymous. So social distancing badges, of course, that will go off. And this is basically what they look like. You can see them right here, these little gray, uh, little gray devices. And of course, this probably lights up, which would be really annoying to have to deal with. Um, but again, because of the rampant, <clears throat> because so many, <clears throat> excuse me, because so many places basically shut down their economies. And of course, all of that brought about just millions and millions of jobs here, just here in New York alone, uh, there are millions of jobs, millions of restaurant jobs, movie theaters, uh, bars, etc., uh, malls, mall jobs that basically are not going to be coming back anytime soon. And so this limits the mobility for workers who maybe you work at a particular place and your boss is not exactly the best person that you would want to work for or the environment is hostile. But because of the lack of jobs, because the, at any moment, basically the government, like they did here, can just say, well, your business is not essential, right? And they'll, they'll shut down the business where you work at. Even though obviously the business is essential to the owner, the business is essential to the people who work there, 
But from the government standpoint, they can basically shut you down and they'll be like, you know, we'll just redirect all that business over to Amazon or over to Walmart, et cetera. And we'll we'll let them be the winners and then all these other small business while well, you're going to take an L. And of course, this limits the number of jobs that are available to people within a particular industry or within a particular region. And of course, it limits the mobility, right? And that is actually quite key to making it so that job mobility be, is very flexible so that people can basically pick where they want to work to be able to work in a particular industry that they enjoy for a particular boss that they get along with or in a tipper and in a environment where they feel um, safe working in and not having to deal with this sort of uh harassment at the workplace and of course this of course then picks each other because every time you get near someone the stupid monitor will go off people will then want to remain distance from each other and of course it just creates animosity towards people people will start snitching oh i saw them pull the battery out or or, or you know what have you they were like putting their thing you know under a towel so it doesn't make noise this is a sort of friction that they're actually looking to create so that basically people don't ban up and join together and say, you know, we're not we're not going to put up with this nonsense. And of course, the company goes on to say it says it makes the products. They make numerous um, hygiene products. It says the company's health inspectors would be able to alert potential uh, contacts more quickly and exhaust um, exhaustively in case of an outbreak. And of course, again, this is all for, you know, it's it's we're, we're trying to we're trying to save you. We're, we're trying to make sure that you stay uh, nice and healthy. <clears throat> this is a stupid idea. I, I hope that it doesn't go through because when one person, when one business or, you know, comes up with a stupid idea and it basically goes through and then other p other business owners start thinking, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Maybe I should do that dumb shit too. And then other people, of course, have to deal with it. And these are just all forms of control that typically take place uh, basically in communist societies. When communists uh, basically take over ideology you know in the terms of the ideology of the country this is the sort of stuff that you hear you there's this over emphasis on trying to control people it stems at the top and people just mimic what they see when the politicians become radicalized and start acting like communists the people who are right underneath them the business owner it trickles all the way down and this is basically what you're going to see. And of course, this article, you can see that this is basically what the factory looks like. And it just goes on to state um, other in, other information about the factory. Nothing really important else going on. But I would really hope that this would not take place. This would be a terrible idea. Uh, and of course, it would only create problems uh, in the workplace. Because then they could just be like, hey, you know what? They do this in the job. Why don't we do this for everybody outside? Why doesn't everybody wear... Uh, a dog whistle outside so that in case you get within more than two meters of somebody that it goes off. This is a sort of stupid nonsense that happens when people are just acting so retarded. It's like so stupid to imagine that, that people of course are thinking of this. It's even, but again, because you were so worried about catching a cough with a 99 plus percent survivability, this is the sort of stuff that you now have to potentially deal with.